guys, it's Sam, and this is my spoiler-free review of The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. As of the filming of this video, I have read this book twice, once in hard physical copy and once in audiobook, and I completely loved it both times. If you've been around my channel a while, you know this is one of my favorite books of all time, and now I'm going to tell you why you need to read it too. The Night Circus is an adult fantasy novel, and at its core it is about the Night Circus. The Night Circus takes on its own kind of personality and its own kind of atmosphere. So the Night Circus is actually a magical circus that travels around the world. Everybody who comes in contact with this circus is absolutely in love with it and doesn't quite know how it operates, and that is because it is actually the arena for a magical competition. And when I say competition, it's not like a battle, it's not an offensive competition, it's more of a display of their abilities, kind of. At the beginning of the story, you get to meet the two main characters, and one of them is a magician that was trained by somebody who had innate ability, and one of them was a magician who was trained by somebody who kind of gave them the skills in order to have magic. I don't really want to say any more than that, but basically, when they were very young, they were pitted against each other in this competition, and this is kind of the culmination, and them doing everything within the Night Circus. As I said, the Night Circus is really about the characters and the circus itself. This story is told so beautifully. There are so many things weaving in and out of each other throughout the entire book that you don't really know what is building up, but you know something is building up, because pretty much every chapter is told in a different perspective and potentially a different timeline. The beginning of each chapter has when it's taking place, and sometimes it'll be really far in the future, in the past, or it's told kind of as if you are experiencing something, like you experience the tense and such, and different kinds of things that are going on within the circus yourself. That's how it's written. And it's so marvelously done, and I'm even more in awe of it my second read-through, because there's things that I picked up on during the second read-through that I didn't even notice in the first read-through, because I was reading it so quickly because I couldn't put it down. So as far as the world building, again, it's all about this circus, and even though everything doesn't exactly take place in the circus, the majority of it does. As I said, you have chapters where it's almost as if you are experiencing the circus, and you're experiencing different tents and different events within the circus, and you really get a sense of it there. The smells, the sights, how everything is set up, you get to kind of experience how the circus was built. It is wonderfully done. I absolutely adore everything about it. The atmosphere is beautiful. You can really feel yourself there, and I absolutely adore all the beautiful writing within there, and all the beautiful tents and events and people, and it's just magical. Next I want to talk about the characters. There are a ton of different characters involved with this. There are really two main characters, but I hesitate to even call those two the main characters because the main character is almost the circus. The other characters are all interacting within the circus, and there are a ton of different people, and as I said, a ton of different things happening within different timelines, but there are our two main characters who are battling quote-unquote, within the circus, and I absolutely adore both of them. I enjoy all of the characters, because all the characters in here are complex, multi-dimensional characters. No one feels flat. Everybody has a purpose. No one is just stuck in there randomly. Everybody weaves together in some kind of complicated way, and when you see it all come together at the end, it just blows you away. It is so wonderfully and beautifully done, and as I said, the characters are complex, they're morally gray, as I enjoy, and they are just people that are deeply flawed, and a lot of people kind of have problems with this book sometimes because of the characters. Some, some of them they find kind of annoying, or they don't understand the love romance that's in here, even though the romance is a very small part of this book. But the flaws of the characters are what make them so real to me and make me fall in love with them so much. As I said, there is a love story in here, but the love story takes a backseat to everything else that is going on, but I did deeply enjoy the love story, because as I said, they are two flawed human beings, and they have a lot of issues, but I absolutely adore them and how they come together within the circus and everything. It is just wonderful. All of these side characters you also really get to love. You don't forget any of the side characters. Sometimes when you have a large cast of characters like this, and this one is very large, you will forget certain characters, but all of them I feel like could have their own separate story, that they are the main characters in their own story, and you can very much sense that when reading this book. Next I want to talk about the plot. Obviously this is more of a character-driven story, so it is a slower plot. There are things weaving together. If you don't enjoy slower paced stories, you're probably not going to enjoy this as much, but I loved the slow build and not really knowing 
what was going to happen at the end and how things were all kind of coming together and how it kind of jumped around a little bit in timeline. I didn't find that confusing. I know some people might, but I personally didn't. I could definitely tell by which characters were around what time it was and everything else and who we were kind of looking at and everything. It's very clearly explained, but it is a slower book. It's not one that you're going to completely fly through if you don't want to. I flew through it because I was completely addicted to it, and especially the end, you definitely fly through. But at the beginning, it might take a little bit of getting into, but I think it is so, so worth it. So overall, obviously, I love this story. I love the writing. I love the characters. I love how multidimensional it is, how atmospheric it is. I think you should definitely read it the first time through in a physical edition and then listen to the audiobook later for rereads. I plan on rereading this book once a year. I love it so much. I'm always catching new things with it, and I just absolutely adore it. So if any of this appeals to you, please go and pick this book up. I'm just so in love with it. It really does stand the test of time because I read this book for the first time before even starting booktube, and since reading a ton more than I was even reading before, this still stands up to all those other books that I've read, and I absolutely love it. Five out of five stars, obviously. So comment down below and let me know if you've read The Night Circus and what you thought of it. I'm also going to be posting a spoilery discussion video that will be linked somewhere here on the screen as well as down below in the description bar, so go and check that out if you've read it as well and we can discuss more about it there. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!